This is the future. I'm really curious after the changes that Digital Extremes did with this one mission. For me, I think that it's good but I would like to know your opinion about this one. So the one I'm talking about is the Arjun Hunts. Specifically, Digital Extremes made a big change with the acquisition of Tau Forged Arjun Shards. They call it the Pity System. The change goes like this, each time a specific Tau Forged Arjun Shard, Amber, Azure, Crimson, is not your reward for completing an Arjun Hunt. For example, you received a regular Amber, Azure, or Crimson Arjun Shard, your chance to receive a Tau Forged Shard of that variant increases in the next respective hunt. The base probability for an Arjun Shard to be Tau Forged is 20% and increases by 20%, up to 100%, for each hunt that does not reward that specific Tau Forged Shard. The probability resets back to 20% once that Tau Forged Shard variant is rewarded. The chance percent will be indicated via the Arjun Hunt navigation panel for the shard color that is currently available. It's kind of funny because after the change, I went to do the Arjun Hunt with a 20% chance to drop, and then, I got a Tau Forged version already. It may be just luck so I have to try it again in the next Arjun Hunt rotation. Honestly, the pity system caters to solo players, and somehow, I like it sometimes. This is a gift for those players who don't usually play with the team because they just want to enjoy the game at their own pace, or just don't have the luxury to get a decent connection so they can be with a team. The pity system in the Arjun Shard works perfect, and this leads us to players suggesting more of this pity system, only this time, Digital Extremes apply it to relics and the prime parts chances. So what they are saying is to increase the chances of getting prime parts if we don't get it for the first time. So, in the beginning, I was like, how the fuck would we do that if one relic holds different prime parts? But then again, there's actually one way to do it which gives us total control over what to farm which also will depend on the effort we put into farming a specific relic. So the relic system is designed like this, in one relic, there are multiple prime parts and they are categorized as common, uncommon, and rare, you can increase the drop chance of these prime parts through the relic enhancement system with the use of void traces. You can enhance the relic into exceptional, flawless, and then radiant, which in return, will increase the drop chance of all prime parts within the relic, but then again, we are not sure what will come out even if it's radiant because all got an increased chance of dropping. So, what if Digital Extremes do a rework wherein we can use the pity system in the relic system? Only this time, it will not be the same as the pity system, but we will make use of void traces to enhance the possibility of dropping a specific prime part that is included in the relic, I'm suggesting that instead of increasing all the drop chances, we can allocate void traces into specific prime parts in the relic to increase its drop chance, that would give us control, and we won't waste time on farm relics anymore but, we will be more focused on farming void traces. Honestly, I would rather farm void traces than relics if I know that I can get the prime parts that I need in a 100% drop chance. This is just a suggestion though, as I know there will be many players who will oppose this because it will then crash the market, and it will make DE lose a lot of money I guess, you see. The drop chance in relics is a scam and oftentimes, players just buy the prime parts from other players, or even just purchase prime access to skip the grind. Digital extremes are making the grind hard for players so they can get some potential real money spenders. They can make this new relic system work if they can, but I doubt that they will. I would be very surprised though if they implement it. Now, I would like to know your comments about this suggestion. Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. The squad leader signing off.